Hello. Okay, so I'm very excited, and I'm not doing a pro uh, review of this, but this little baby came, um, and I posted about it on Instagram, and it is in really good condition. I have film in it right now, so I'm not, I'm not going to open it up. Um, but I'm just so excited. It feels so good. Um, I was nervous. I don't know why, because I personally... And I don't want to jinx it, but I personally trust Russian cameras quite a bit. Um, I know they're not the best made cameras, and I know there's lots of issues with them. Um, but I just think that... I, I was just very surprised. This viewfinder is amazing. Um, I opened it up and I cleaned it out, but it was still in really good condition. Um, and the level's nice. It doesn't have a... It's not cracked or anything. Um, and it's it's a fine size. Um, it's not super heavy, but it feels substantial. Um, it's just so nice. It seems very well made. Um, it is very well made. And I was a little concerned with these strap lugs at first because they spin, but then I looked into it and they're fastened um, with another ring at their base here um, that I tightened up. And what I wanted to talk about actually is when you buy used cameras on the internet, even if it's a point and shoot or anything, um, I would highly consider, um, as the person buying, as the buyer, um, and as a camera seller too, if you get used cameras, definitely invest in something like this, which you can get on the internet, um, for not very much, but a JIS set of screwdrivers. And they're Phillips head and flathead, and they're, they're meant for, like, Japanese instrument um, whatever, but they're, they work for many different kinds of screws, and they're not so blunt, they kind of, they go deeper into the, the pit of the screw, so they, they have a tendency to not slip or strip things, and they're really precise and really good, well made, um, and I would recommend getting some of these, and getting, uh, they have kind of crappy, um, spanner wrenches that you can get for digital cameras and lenses and stuff, and doing that kind of work, um, and if, you can find one of those on the internet, or I think I got a nicer one from B and H. Um, but if you can get one of those, when you find a used camera, if you buy it to sell it, or if you inherit it and want to sell it, or if you get it to use every day or even once, um, look at the camera. Just stare at it. Just give it a good look once over, and. Look at all the screws, where all the screws are. There's just tons of them. They're everywhere. They're all over. They're all over the bottom. They're everywhere. Grab your JIS set and tighten them. Don't over tighten them, but check them. Make sure that they're tight and they're not going to just fall out on you. Um, some of these are a little loose. And I mean, this camera was made in 1972. That's a long time. Uh, for it to be in the hands of one person or many people or in a storage unit or something, but time does wonders and screws get loose. With your JIS uh, set or with your spanner wrench, here's the digital one I was talking about, um, or I mean or film, but they sell them like as digital or like DSLR lens repair spanners. Um, or this one from B&H, um, just go in there and try to tighten this stuff up, uh, these little parts here. And like on this viewfinder, this level ring here, that needs to be unscrewed, so like a grippy piece of uh, rubber or something, like some people have those little rubber things for opening jars and cans. If you use one of those, or you can get a set of uh, like rubber lens tools online that kind of stack into each other. Um, those are amazing, and I have some of those. And you just want to give it a little tune-up. Not necessarily a CLA, but you just want to make sure it's going to stand the test of time. So, uh, yeah, there's good reasons to do that. I mean, I do that with cameras that I really like that I own, um, this being a new one. Uh, and cameras that I don't really care about very much. Um, it's just good to check, like, my M3. I, every so often, I'll just do a, a once-over and just make sure things aren't loose on it. Um, things that I can do myself, 
uh, that aren't going to, you know, make me have to send it out and spend hundreds of dollars to get it fixed or something. Um, and that'll ensure I won't lose a part or have to spend more money or spend a long time on the internet looking because um, I want to spend less time on the internet really. Um, so yeah, it's just good with any camera you have um, just to give it a little tune-up, show a little love, and it'll show you love and it'll be with you for a long time. So yep, that's the video. Just take care of your things if you want and they'll take care of you. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.